What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So I have completed all 115 dungeons inside of Diablo 4, and I wanna just give my thoughts on the dungeons and how they work and what I think about completing all these dungeons to get all these different codexes or affixes, legendary powers that you can use across all of your characters in Diablo 4 that are on the same level, whether it's softcore, hardcore, or seasonal. So let's get into this. I have completed all of the dungeons while trying to complete my Renown, which is actually really, really cool. So I think the dungeon system inside of Diablo 4 is actually really unique and just really, really fun to do. However, I wish there wasn't so much overlapping in some cases. So I'm just now doing or finishing up all of the side quests. And there's a lot of side quests that take me into dungeons. So the big issue for me is it having to double back into dungeons, which I really don't like when you're trying to complete other objectives in the game. For example, there's this side quest here for hunger for a new life, which makes me go back into this dungeon. Now in side quests in general, you're not going to be completing the dungeon. You're just going into the dungeon to complete in, in uh, a quest, right? It's a small quest. You go in there real quick, you finish it and then you get out. But let's say I didn't have this dungeon done and I wanted to do it and just stack multiple objectives at the same time, which I think is really, really cool in this game. But it would have allowed, I would have had to have just accepted side quests as many as I could as I was playing before I wanted to actually complete them. So I really think that that's a big issue is the whole doubling back thing that we talked about and having to like go back into dungeons for other things in the game because there's a really cool achievement for completing all of your side quests in Diablo 4, which I think is really cool especially for all you complete, uh, completionists out there. So next, as far as the dungeon system is resetting dungeons. For me, in the early stages, they had the reset button, which was just fantastic. You go in, you finish the dungeon, you teleport out, and then you hit the reset button here at the menu, and then you can go back in and do it again. So as a solo player, you're not gonna be able to do this effectively. You're going to have to go between two dungeons. So for example, you complete this dungeon, you teleport out, then you run over to this dungeon here, complete this one, and then by the time you're done with that, this dungeon resets. The rough reset time is two to five minutes roughly and then if you wanted to just leave the dungeon stand outside and wait that long you could but that is time that you were just wasting where as before you could reset the dungeon and just go back in the big issue with this was quote unquote farming dungeons which i still think is a really silly thing by um blizzard because the whole end game thing is nightmare dungeons which we're going to talk about in a minute and I really think that having the reset button is key. Now, if you are in a group, it is fairly easy to reset the dungeon at an instantaneous speed. Basically what you do is you're in a group, the party leader leaves, and then the other members just uh, teleport to the beginning of the dungeon. When the party leader leaves, they get teleported back to the beginning of the dungeon outside. You invite everybody and go right back in. It takes, you know, 15 seconds to do. So in a group, it really is really good. You can still do it, but in a, as a solo player, you're going to be punished. Uh, so I really think that they need to fix the reset button now Dungeons themselves. I really do appreciate that Blizzard took the time to kind of reconfigure the layouts of the dungeons And that way we don't have this backtracking mechanism that is going to happen in the game Which I think is just great now. There's still some back backtracking um, Instances inside the dungeons, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing that could happen in uh, Diablo 4 but it is kind of a nuisance when you're trying to do things especially solo which is why I definitely encourage everybody to do group play if possible so I love that they fixed that now onto the bread and butter of kind of dungeons themselves and nightmare dungeons so the end game is all about doing nightmare dungeons you're going to have these sigils that you're going to find or craft over at the occultist which is going to allow you to make dungeons tiers higher and just farm them farm them farm them which is going to allow you to level up your glyphs okay this is the end game of end games and what you're going to be doing to level up glyphs and just become stronger and really really test your builds i really do like the nightmare dungeons as a whole i love that the dungeon affixes are here and it applies some bonuses to you as the, as the player as well as some creative things that make the dungeons harder whether it's a lightning storm monsters have cold damage lightning resist they have um, burn that they take away your primary resource so it really makes the dungeons a little bit more challenging now to to note the nightmare dungeons do not scale with your level so for example i'm level 92 if i was to put the tier 39 in here every dungeon sigil or nightmare dungeon that you do is plus 54 levels so if i was going to do this 39 for example you add 54 levels that makes it a 93 tier dungeon 
So I'm only 92. Now, what if I was to use one that was a 20 or this 41? So now it's a 95 and I'm only a 92. So I really like that it doesn't necessarily scale with your level. So that way you can farm uh, lower level nightmare dungeons faster to get through them to level up your, uh, your, um, to level up your glyphs, which is really cool, which is kind of the mirror to doing greater rifts in Diablo 3 when you're trying to level up your legend, legendary gems. So I really like that it doesn't scale. So uh, I find that really, really cool and interesting. And I think Nightmare Dungeons are just an overall win-win uh, for solo players as well as groups. Now, into dungeons themselves when it comes to completing them for codexes. Now, if you want to complete your renown, you're going to have to do dungeons. You get 30 points per side dungeon, which adds to your total amount of your renown, which is just perfect. You want to get all of these bonuses. Really, it's only the, the first three. The obols is kind of whatever, but you definitely want your paragon points, points that do transfer over to new characters. So as far as just completing side dungeons, there's a lot of powers that don't really apply to a lot of different classes. I think we figured that out playing almost to level 100. We're going to get to level 100 today. And... I don't think that having to do them all all 115 if you're a completionist definitely do it but there's a lot of these dungeons that you're just never going to see or never do like through the campaign through side quests there's a lot of these dungeons that you're just never going to touch or if you're only playing a couple characters or tunes you're only going to get certain dungeons done for certain aspect powers now outside of that i do think that the dungeons are quite quick they're right they're really fun it's just a couple of different objectives and then destroying dungeon bosses is really cool i think that the dungeon bosses should should be harder since where there's so many and it would be cool to have dungeon bosses be worth a fight instead of them just being basically an elite or less they're weaker than an elite i should say in some cases so i really wish that the dungeon bosses were harder and then to know i wish there was a lot more uh like different dungeon bosses that you can do it seems to be like per zone like in Kovashad or fractured peach peaks most dungeons have the same dungeon boss there's a few that are different but it's like the same three or four dungeon bosses throughout the entire zone and it goes zone by zone this way so i mean how many times have i fought the blood bishop and it just seems like it's, you know, taking for, you know, I fought the Blood Bishop like 20 times and I've been in 10 dungeons. You know, it just seems like there's no dungeons that are just have different bosses. So I really wish that that was the case and that they were harder. Now, outside of that, uh, I do really like the fact that we figured out a way to maximize completing dungeons for uh, your renown or as well as just getting the aspects or the codexes for them and doing them in groups and you split into dungeons and it's really really great and then everybody gets that stuff and you finish it so much faster or up to four times faster uh so i really i really like that but it definitely punishes solo players uh it does take a really really long time uh and i just wish that they were a little bit more interesting and the bosses were a little bit harder so it made it feel like you were actually going into a real dungeon instead of it just being more like just an easy level um, now, I know that they probably did this because of Nightmare Dungeons, which make them harder, but even then, the bosses should just be tougher. So, outside of that, the dungeon system inside of Diablo 4, along with all of the codexes, is really, really cool, and I do dig it. There is some issues, uh, but outside of that, I really, really like the dungeon mechanics in the game and i think it's really really cool i i hope that there's more dungeons in the future instead of 115 i hope we go up to like 150 200 dungeons with expansions that would be really really cool so i really hope that they do that um so yeah guys that is my thought on completing all 115 dungeons inside of diablo 4 it has been an absolute journey and a grind which is just really really fun and now i have all of these codexes for every character in softcore uh, which just makes playing new tunes or classes easier, right? Because you get these powers that you can put on stuff right away, which is just super, super fun. And you can just ha start having a blast with new characters. So you had to slug through it the first time with your main character, but now you get to have a lot of fun and have even more fun with more characters. So that is what I think about the dungeon system after playing for about 100 hours in the game, guys. We completed all of the dungeons and it's just been really, really cool. A little bit more variety would be awesome, but... In the end, it's still really, really fun. So like the video, guys. Comment down. Let me know what you guys think about the dungeon system and mechanics inside the game. And make sure to sub if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.